Hi, I'm Tom Newstrom, professional guide from Northern Minnesota. I want to show you something that has really worked for me for a long time. I take extra care with my spinning reels. Well, really with all my reels, but my spinning ones especially. These are my go-to everyday reels. You know, here's one that's about seven, eight years old. It's a Daiwa Fuego. And I mean, this thing, it's like a little watch. And the reason why is because I take extra care with all my reels. There's little things that you can do. Uh, the mag seal, which is on the new ballistic, has internal oil, so you really don't have to get inside and oil the reel at all. So most of the maintenance on the reel is going to be in the bale and it'll be in the spool, and I'll show you that in a second. I take a cotton swab. I use gun oil because gun oil is the finest, softest oil that you can use on any kind of really machinery or light machinery, such as a, as a reel. But what I do is I just spray a little bit on a cotton swab. I take the shaft of the reel and I just rub it a little on there on both sides up and down over where the spool would go and also right on the bale assembly. But what it does is it really gives you an idea that your bale will pop, it'll pop closed every time. And, and the thing is, you know, a lot of us teach each other on closing the bale with our hand. With these new Daiwa reels, all you do is close it and it snaps closed. A little bit of oil on those parts where I showed you, all important on the LT, no internal oil system, okay? So the mag seal doesn't exist in that. But then again, when you go to the ballistic, the new ballistic, which has the mag seal, what you do is you take the spool off, basically the same, the same thing, I, I do basically the same thing, I spray a little oil on the shaft, just like that, on the bale assembly. Those Q-tips are wonderful. And I mean, the thing is just, I mean, it, it's, like a, it's like a Swiss watch. I mean, it's the smoothest running reel you could ever want, but they will last you a lifetime if you just take, you know, take a little bit of care in the reel. It'll last you a long, long time. So let me uh, put this one down. Take the cap on. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is a seven, eight-year-old Fuego. I've taken really, really good care of it, but look how smooth this reel is. It's, it's just like it came out of the box brand new. It's because I took care of it. When you take the spool off, you want to always make sure that when you lift, lift the shaft up, that's when you want to go in and oil it. And it's a very simple procedure. On the bale assembly also. You do that twice a year. You go in and take care of your reels like I do, a little easy maintenance, and you'll have reels for the rest of your life, I'm telling you. Uh, this stuff is really simple to take care of. You know, whether you're oiling the bale assembly or the inside shaft of the spool, it'll ensure the lifetime of your reel for a long time. I love it.